G'day. So today I'm replacing the hard drive in this here Dell. A Dell Latitude. A Dell Latitude 3380. This is a small little 14 inch laptop. And to begin with, we're going to need to take these screws out. So we'll find out along the way. So far, the screws themselves stay in the bottom housing. Now with it, I'm assuming that the bottom cover comes off, which I'll find out. Yep. So all the screws stay in. Apart from one which seems to be broken on this one. So getting in there, what can we see? Huh, this is something that I did not actually expect. SIM card slot. So you can have LTE on here, or assumably. Here we've got a yeah, PCIe slot. I'll just zoom in a bit closer for I use. So looking here, we have, what are we? Headphone jack connector. Going down to here. That I do find kind of handy. Which I am going to be curious if I can install. Slightly different pin configuration. Bugger, you won't be able to go PCIe NVMe on there. Proceeding along, we have the 2.5 inch drive, also held in by Phillips head screws. That pulls up. What are we? A Toshiba drive. I believe this is a. I'm gonna say a 500, but it may be a one terabyte. Anyway, that's getting changed over to a solid state drive. I'll do that in just a minute. I'll just keep having a look at the board. What else do we see? Wireless card. Placeable system fan. But I'm assuming we're a Broadcom by that model number. A 56 watt battery. 56 watt hour. So reasonably large. It's also removable. It's connectors over here. We have four gig of DDR4 RAM. Installed. Click, click, up, out. Yeah, PC 4 2400T. So we only have a single dim on this machine. In, down. And I'll just quickly scroll over the board. Just for people that may be interested in certain components that are on here. Going over to the side here, we have the charger jack. So that is replaceable if it is, does get damaged. Moving further over. HDMI out, USB. That's pretty much most of the internals of this. One thing I am curious of, this screw here. Curious if I can get an turn on it. No. That one's a bit loose. 
I don't know why, but most modern machines seem to need to be retorqued down a lot more compared to old ones. I'll take this out of here. I'll try that in just a sec. Now we'll quickly just take out this fan and give it a quick blowout. It's already apart, it might as well have a bit of a clean. There. With a bit of a nail, you might be able to take that out. At this point, I don't have any nails. I'll use the tweezers and just walk it out like so. Fan's looking okay. Cool, I could do with a little bit of love. And now I might even give the E7200, well, 7200U, thermal paste replacement. Usually doesn't hurt. Especially being this one is a couple of year old machine now. As we can see there, we're not looking exactly great. And surprisingly, there's a thermal pad on here. Thermal pad itself still feels a bit tacky, which is good. It means it's still got some life to it. So now I'm just gonna use some good old toilet paper. It's convenient on the bench. And some isopropyl alcohol. Give it a spray onto the toilet paper, or whatever tissue cloth you choose. At this point, I should disconnect the battery as well. Personally, I don't really worry about it, but if you've never done it before, I'd probably recommend doing that as well. Again, I'm gonna to go to the tweezers. No, it's being stubborn. That's not handy. Doesn't wanna leave. Go, I got it. Back over here we go. Fine. This one should be pretty straightforward to get off as well. There we go. Now what I'm going to use is some um, deep cool Z5. If my camera wants to focus, there we go. Luckily, I won't need much of it, and I don't think I have much of it left. Okay, dab it around a bit. There we go. Done. Here. Just better line it up, push down, take it off. A little bit excessive, but that should be perfectly fine anyway. Torque it down. Four, three, two. And lastly, one. So while we're like that, I'm going to put the fan back together. This connector slides in, pull down, in. 
Next up, a couple of screws, of which they are the same length. One, two, Let's put that collar in here, stick that over there, that looking good. Next up is down here. So what I'm going to do is take the brackets off this and replace this with a Crucial BX 240 gig SSD, which should get this running nice and zippy once more. Where at the moment this drive does certainly feel a bit tired. Over there, that off, shield off. Same procedure that way. No. Now I've confused myself. There we go, so I figured out the orientation. One screw. So there's four screws that go in here. Granted, they're not all overly necessary. You could probably get away with just using two on one on a diagonal pattern. But they're there, they came in it, they can go back in it. There we go. Yeah, this just pushes on. Excuse my manged up thumb, it's slowly getting better. Lift up the battery slightly, sit it in there, push down. There's a fair bit of flex in this board, which I'm not too much a fan of. Yeah. One. Two. Three. And a four. So all those screws were the same length, so there's no dramas there. Now what are we changing it from? Uh, it was a one terabyte. So typically, usually see one terabytes in most machines of this age. Wish they converted to SSDs. Thus, what I'm doing here. So now with everything changed, so we checked the RAM, didn't do nothing with the Wi-Fi, put new thermal paste, clean the dust over here, put the SSD in, all that's left right now is to reconnect the battery. Also do note for the front speakers that are along the front here. Well, the front speakers, the speakers are at the front, which personally I like at the front, usually facing upwards preferably, but it's not too bad the positioning in that. Also did check the tension on the hinges, which I don't want to do them too tightly as I find that most modern day devices the plastic on them is usually pretty crap and you do potentially break the mounting point. But now that's done, I best disconnect the battery, or reconnect the battery. So it should be pretty straightforward. Push it in the hole, wiggle it in. There we go, partially in, push it forward. No. Something a bit stronger. No. This is a very secured battery. There we go. Push it from behind. Push this back down. Out of the way. Put the tape back on it. Rams in. So right now, this is set to have the back cover put back on, which we just saw earlier, should be pretty straightforward. Drop over the top, push it around, that's all good. And proceed to do up the screws. So from there, you should have been able to either upgrade the 
RAM on your Latitude 3380, change over the hard drive, the 2.5 inch drive, change, potentially change your wireless card, get a rough idea on how to change the power cable if you damage the charger port, and also how to, well, a brief overview of where the battery is and what you need to do to remove it, or at least disconnect it. Replacing it would just be simply removing the other screws around it, and you can get that out from there. Anyway, I'm going to reinstall the OS on this, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.